Hello everyone, this is Manoj. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is another part of our React Redux series. So in this particular video, we will create our list component and then we will use our state and render all the items or you can say all the information to our list component from the state. So far, we have created our add product component as you can see and let's add any data in the state let's say these two and if you go to the developer tools to the redux developer tools and if you check the state so we should get these two items all right so now go back to visual studio code and inside this component folder let's add another file and name it list.js or let's say product list.js and now inside this product list.js let's import react from react and let's import table from react bootstrap table and now let's create the component let's say product list and if we take props and now let's return the html part or the jsx or this brackets the lower one table let's give some styles and over inside this let's add the head and inside this let's add a tr so first heading would be let's say id and another one is product name so we are done with our head part so let's add t body and inside t body we will use our state before making the body let's come outside this component and create map state props and it will take our state and products state so what we are doing here we are simply taking the state from the store and whatever is there in the state we are assigning to this particular property all right so finally export default product list so again we need to connect this component to the store so we need to import connect from react redux so now go to the export part here simply connect first is map state props and the second parameter should be the component name let's save this now we are having data or state in this property so now go to this body part here we will use props dot products dot product dot data dot map so we will have map so here we will have the data so let's give a 
the asked name let's say product second would be the index here you will return tr and inside this let's create a td and let's give a key key should be the index and here it should be product dot name same way dot name the id and let's give another td and this will give product dot name small id save this one so we are ready with our product list so so far what we have done we simply created a product list component inside this we are using bootstrap table and we are using two headings and inside the body we are using map method whatever we are getting from the state we are using map on it and we are simply creating trs and assigning to that particular table and we are using map state to prop just to connect or just to avail the state to our component and we are using simply redux connect method again connect is a pure function all right so we are using connect to connect our component with the state so let's save this now go back to browser oh, before going browser we need to go to our app.js and simply import our product list component from component and product list product list and here let's add product list let's save this and now this compiling yeah compile successfully go back to browser cannot read property data of undefined product dot data go to product list dot js let's try to console dot log props save this oops it is not product list it should be product that's why it is giving error so let's save this yeah so now it is working so let's try to add let's see let me till scroll down it so let's add let's say item then submit so data is coming in the state let's go to the console what it is saying receive true for a non boolean script attribute so now go back to browser and let's reload it and let's also open the redux developer tools so now the state should be blank as you can see so now let's add another product let's say this one click on submit so you can see the product is in the state and you can also see in the table let's add another product let's say this one so another product has been added also in the state let's add another one so you can see the state is adding all the items which we are adding from the browser let me close this so you can see this is how you can simply use redux in your react applications so let's go back to the product list so we are simply accessing our state and using map method and displaying all the items and if you need like there are a lot of redux questions which interviewer ask in a react interview so if you guys need 
that I should make a video on Redux interview questions. So please comment in this video in the comment box so that I can create a video on the interview questions also. All right. So this is about today's video. I hope you like it. If you did so, hit the like button, share, comment, and again I'm saying if you need any kind of help regarding this video, my previous video, or any other like .NET or Web API, so you can connect me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is Open Programmer. You can also find this in channel description. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.